Hey guys, Johnny here from the OpDesign app. In this video, I just want to talk about internal links on Shopify product pages. Adding internal links in the right way can be a very powerful lever. And it's one of the easiest things you can do on your Shopify store. Uh, it, we all know that links are important, both external and internal links. Internal links uh, are very powerful, not only because you can do them for free on your own site, you can leverage the power of other pages within your site. But also by doing a little bit of quick analysis on your product pages, you can determine which pages obviously are getting good traffic, if they've got links, internal or external links to them. And you can use that information to build a strategy to add internal links to product pages and point them to other products or other relevant products that you'd like to give a bit of a boost. By adding internal links, you pass link juice to the pages you're pointing a link to. If that, if the uh, the source product page where the link is located is getting a lot of traffic, there's a good chance that users are going to come to that product page and actually click through the link that's on that page to the the other relevant product or, or collection, and that's a very powerful signal. Uh, to Google and the other search engines when a user actually clicks through a link and follows that link to um, another page. So there's a bit of a process we use on our Shopify stores to actually uh, create these internal links. It's a manual process. It can be automated, but we like to do it manually because we do have a little bit more control. So I'm just going to show an example of a site. This is actually a, a site that has been moved from one platform to another very recently. It's a marketplace site on Shopify. We did thousands of 301 redirects from the old platform to the new platform. So the site has, has taken a bit of a hit, which can happen. Um, it's starting to recover a little bit, which is fine. And uh, now we're just going through the process of, of rebuilding the site on Shopify. So to find the, the product pages that we want to add a link to or add links to the, the, the Shopify pages that have got some power and, and got some traffic, you can simply come to Arefs or, or a similar tool. And we're just going to filter top pages. So we've got top pages here. And then the URL contains slash product. So that's going to pull back all URLs that are product pages on Shopify. So if we can scroll down, we can see that some of the traffic coming in to these product pages the number of keywords that it ranks for and positions, etc. So we're going to just try this first one here. It's got a, um, it's got um, some traffic here, so it's getting some traffic to this page, and we're just going to open up this page here, which I already had open, and we'll just look at uh, the actual product. Generally, what we'll come and do now is, and I'll, I'll do this an example in a second. We come into the description, and we can add our internal links at the bottom or within the description. Um, if we like. Okay, so now we just go to Shopify. I'm just going to take that product title and there is the product there. We're going to open up the product page and we've got our description here. So we just double check it's the correct one. Yes, it is. So now what we'd want to do, uh, generally we'll link to other similar products. Just firstly though, um, what a lot of people do is just allow the related product section, if they have a related product section on their store, to do that lifting for them. Uh, but if we just take note, this is a, a helmet and we scroll on down and this theme, it's got related products or you, you may also like, but these products are actually not all that relevant to this product page. I mean, we have a we have different types of products. I mean, these are internal links that will help crawling, but it's not necessarily going to help uh, the, you know, from a relevance point of view, we don't have that uh, internal relevance there. So we're going to go and uh, find these other products here and then we'll add some internal links to them. So actually, we'll just go back here. I'm going to open up this these tabs and now we have our other uh, similar products, so they're, they're similar types of products to, and we'll just maybe use three of them. So we'll open up those. So 
So we've got our source product here, and then we've got these other three open. Uh, and we'll just, yeah, because we can grab the URL from there. Okay, so we've got our first one here. So what generally we'll do is uh, probably link back to the main collection and also potentially the sub collection. So this is a helmet and you can see we've got our breadcrumb and it points back to the main helmet collection. But if we just click on that and go back to the main helmet collection, so we, we don't need to add an internal link back to the, the main core collection because it's already in the, in the breadcrumb, but you may want to add an, uh, a relevant anchor within the content to that, that main collection that just helps with relevancy again, <coughs> excuse me. But we're not going to do that in this case. What I'm going to do instead is the way that we've set up this site, we actually have uh, sub collections for helmet types. So we've got children's and we have brims and we also have uh, types of or different brands of helmet. So we're, what we're going to do also is link now back to the brands, a couple of brands of helmets. So We'll take these two, for example. We'll obviously take that the brand that we're looking on the source page. So we're just going to open up that link. And we can see we've got our, these are tag pages, by the way. Um, if you if you want to learn how to create optimized tag pages, just check out the OptiZen app uh, site or, or the actual app page on the Shopify app store. There's a link uh, in the description below. So here is the actual, all the different brands of helmets. So we're going to grab that link. Then we're going to go back to our source product. We'll just type in something like, also don't forget to check out all our task helmets. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to uh, make it a bit of a a variation of the main keyword cask helmets and we're going to go our cask helmets and we're just going to add in the link there and then we'll also add another brand just for the sake of it, um, providing a bit of providing a bit of power to another brand we might want to give a boost so we're going to use a kp one here there's less relevance pointing a link to that because it's not a cask helmet, but it's still going to help the KEP collection. And KEP helmet collection. So I'll add that link in there. Okay, so we've just added links to two of the sub collections that are relevant. And then other task helmets you may be interested in. And then we're just going to add a couple of bullet points. And we can actually just go to the main cast collection here. And you may want to do a little bit of research based on you know, the best selling products or what converts well, you may want to use these products, uh, but we're just going to grab because we don't have a lot of helmets in here. We're just going to grab some of them. We're going to add that one. Oops. We know what we need is actually the, the title. So we'll copy that. And then we'll grab the next one. Just open that up so we get the entire. We get the entire title here. So I just have to do a bit of editing now because that's going to come in as a large H2 like that. Okay. All right. And then we'll grab the, the link. Add the link in. And if, if you're going to add these links on other products, you know, sometimes I will actually change the, 
the title anchor a little bit, just so we don't have all the same anchors uh, across the site. Although when you've got a very large site with lots of products, it's not, you know, you, you get a, a little more leniency than if it was a very small site. So let, let's look for another, okay, we'll try this one because this is very similar to little star lady and we'll add that one in. I'll fix these bullet points. That's what I don't like about the editor for Shopify. Sometimes it doesn't work as we'd expect. Okay, get rid of that. Okay, I'm gonna have to go to HTML so I can get rid of. Let's just try that. Okay. Maybe we'll add it in the top here. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of that. Okay, now we've got our three products here. Other cash helmets you may be interested in, uh, and we've got the title of the product and links to each of those products. So now we have a couple of sub collections that are very relevant. We've also got uh, products that are very relevant, linking from linking from a product that we know is getting some traffic, and we'll just save that now. And then we'll go view the product. And we can see we've got now our content and our links that have been added on this product page. Just make it look a little bit nicer. This is how we, we go through and we strategically add internal links to our product pages for products, using products that have a little bit of traffic and you know, also we might do a little bit of research to see if these products have some links. Obviously, products that are getting some good traffic, they're going to pick up links naturally from other sources, for external links. So these product pages are generally going to get more powerful over time, all things being equal. So by adding your internal links here on these product pages, it's only going to help boost these other pages. Then what we will go and do is we can get, then go to the next product, one of the products that's got a link, and we can add our internal links here, and we can link back to that 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 uh, powerful product, and then other products as well. So we end up with uh, a nice organized silo of products uh, that are very similar, and we end up with many groups of of products that are grouped together, um, creating that relevancy and power within those small silos. It works very well. We're doing this on a lot of sites. It generally takes, you know, two to three months to see some sort of results on products uh, being impacted. But again, that, that that certainly depends on how powerful the product pages are that you're linking from, how much traffic they get, uh, and links, etc. Very simple to implement. If you've got a lot of products, it's time, but we just do, on all our stores, we do a few a day. And, uh, you know, you'd be surprised at how many you can get through over weeks and months. Okay. Hope this video was helpful. Any questions or comments, please leave them below and we'll talk to you later on.